To build your own automata, you will need lots of cardboard, paper, scissor, glue and tape, and maybe some skewers. Or remember, you can always find alternatives like chopsticks or paper cubes. To start, we need to create a box. Maybe you have already a small box that you can use in your house. If you haven't, like me, you can build it out of recycled cardboard. Using a bit of creativity, scissors and glue or tape. Now your box is ready and is the base, the structure for our automata. Now we need to punch the box with our pencil. Pay attention, okay? <laughs> we need two holes at the top and one hole for each side. Make sure that the holes from each side are aligned one with the other. Perfect! Now we can build some extra support. So we can use uh, light cardboard. We cut a stripe and then we cut this small stripe in half because we need it to build some paper cubes. We need to prepare three small tubes and we are going to place them two in the holes at the top of the structure and one also on one side as well. Now it's time to prepare our cams. I'm going to draw on a piece of cardboard a circle with a diameter of four centimeters. You don't need to be very, very precise, just make sure that you can draw and then cut a circle with a very smooth edge. Actually, we are going to need two of them. Now that we have our two cams, we need to punch them in order to fix our skewers. So make sure to use a pencil, if you have it available, and an eraser to protect your surface, your desk. Then you can check with your skewer if it can go from one side to the other side of the cam. The first cam is punched in the center, but as you can see here, the second one is punched at the top. This is because we would like to create two different movements. Now it's time to test if everything fits. For a bit of extra support, I prepared two small pieces of cardboard punched in the center just to make sure that my skewer properly holds the position. Now we can also put our cams in place, that means trying to align them with the paper cubes that we have on the top. In a few seconds I will show you how they have to match with the other disc and the characters we are going to add. Now it's time to punch a little piece of cardboard. We can use a little bit of glue and make sure that the skewer doesn't come through the little piece of cardboard that has to be its base. Stick it and hold it in place for some seconds. Now we can do the same with another small disc. So you can take another skewer, a little bit of glue on top of it, insert it and fix it. And hold them in place together for a few seconds. 
As you can see from my sketch here, I decided to go for these two movements. Well, you can choose as many different movements as you'd like and try to build your own mechanism. This is mine, on the left an up and down movement, on the right side a rotation one. I decided to add a bit of extra glue on the support for the horizontal skewer. Well done! Now the mechanism for your automata is ready. You can now customize it with characters and decorations, some colors. For this Kilkenny automata we decided to have a hurling cat and a bow and a flag as well. I used then glue and tape to fix the characters and the flag as well. I test again my automata and I realized that the movement of the ball was not exactly as I expected. So I decided to change a little bit its support. You can also use a bit of extra glue here and there, some blue tech, and you can also decide to change the shape of the cams to make new movements and customize your own automata. So have fun and see you soon guys. Bye!